Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to learn how to scale up flight test PDF files, the, the plans that flight test puts out for free. So what you do is you download the plans and then you're going to need a couple programs. You're going to need uh, Inkscape and then a PDF reader. Now a lot of people online are telling people to use Adobe but I downloaded it and I, I can't get it to work. I, I don't know what I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. I don't know why I've tried everything. But I cannot get it to open a file from Inkscape. I downloaded a different uh, PDF file reader and it works fine. As I'll show you guys when we get into it. But that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna scale up a flight test plan and uh, then we'll put it over to the PDF reader and that's where uh, you can print it in the tiled the tiled versions so you can so you can put them together and make a bigger plane so we'll get right to it guys all right guys in order to do this you're going to need a couple programs you're going to need inkscape and you're going to need a pdf viewer now a lot of people online tell you to use this adobe acrobatic reader um i, I haven't been able to get it to work any file I save from Inkscape as a PDF format to the Adobe and try to open it with the Adobe Reader, it, it won't open. Watch, I'll show you. All right. Okay. I'm going to open this one. No, I don't want to make it mine because it don't work. See? There was an error processing a page. There was a problem reading this document every time I don't know I don't care what I do I tried putting PDF after the file name I tried deleting them all and reinstalling them I tried saving it without the other program installed and then opening it I tried saving it with the other program installed and open it nothing will work for me so I quit I got rid of it I looked I did another search and I found this one, PDF Suite. It works. Um, no problems with it. Okay, so we're going to go. First, we're going to grab these two programs online. We're going to go. We're going to search for Inkscape. And Inkscape free download. Go to download. And you're just going to click this install installer executable file right here. That's what I did. You can download it with this. This is the 32-bit, and then this is the 64-bit. That's in 7-zip. So I just I just installed it from the from the website. It, it worked. Okay. So then we need PDF Suite. And there it is, PDF Suite. You're just going to click free download and it'll download. Okay, so now you got these two files. Now we need to get uh, a flight test plan. So we're going to go on to the flight test webpage. We're going to go to airplanes, standard or mini, it doesn't matter. You can scale up any of them. Uh, we're going to grab this 540 Edge. We're going to scroll down to this resources right here. And then these, the, the plans are going to pop up right here. Now you can download the all in one. These are tiled. That's all in one. I think it has the, the full and the tiled. But I just, I'm just going to download the full. So you're going to click the full. And then you're going to download it to a file, which I already did. I download it to my desktop. So here's our file we downloaded on our desktop. So now we're going to open Inkscape. Okay, so this box right here. 
inside this box is all that will save when you go to save. If there's something outside this box, it will not save. So we're going to import, go to file, import. We're going to get our flight test edge. We're going to go to our desktop. That's our flight test edge that we downloaded. Okay, this page is going to come up. Now, I don't change any, any of this stuff. All I change is this, because we obviously don't need to scale this up. We're going to scroll over. We don't need that one. Don't need that one. We need that one. We need that one. We're going to work on this one. Just because I want to show you guys a trick with that wing panel. So we're going to press OK. Now you're going to think it's locked up. It might up here even say not responding. Just give it a second. I've never had it not catch up. And there it is. So now we have it all selected. We're going to change this to percent. And we're going to change this to 150. Now as soon as you press enter, this is going to scale up to 150%. So we're going to press enter. And there it is. Now, like I was saying, whatever's outside this box ain't going to be saved. So what we need to do is we need to get our parts off of this page, for one. Then we need to make this box bigger so we can fit our wing panel in it. So let's do that. Let's click on this. We're going to right click and click ungroup. Just give it a second to work. Now it's ungrouped. Now we're going to click on the inside of the panel on one of our parts. We're going to right click and we're going to ungroup it again. So now if we did this right, we should be able to grab our parts and pull them off of that page. And there it is. Pull our parts off of that page. Because we don't need all this stuff to, when we're scaling. We don't need none of that. So we're going to just delete it. We're going to get it off of there. Goodbye. Now we got just our parts. Okay. All we want to do is we want to mess with this wing. So we need to get all these other parts out of our way. So if we click on it, see, they all move together. It's because they're all grouped. We want to ungroup them again. And they're going to turn all blue like this. Funny. So you're going to click off of it. Now they're all ungrouped. Now you would think that this part is a group, this part is a group, this part is a group, this part is a group. But that's not the case. If you click on just this part right here, and then you move it, you're just moving that one part. And now your part's messed up. And you're like, oh no. Oh, how do I fix that? I can't just, I, I don't gonna be able to line that up perfect. You just push undo. It goes right back. So, what we want to do is we're going to grab all these. We're going to group them. Just to show you how to do that. Group. And now they're all, all these are a group. And I can grab this and move it out of my way. Now, we don't need, we're not going to mess with these. So, we're just going to delete them and get them out of our way. And we're going to do the same thing with this stuff. We're going to grab as much as you can. Don't get by that wing, because if you delete something off that wing, you have to push that undo button again. It just gets annoying. But sometimes you got to do it like this, so you don't get close to the part you're trying to work on. So you just grab as much as you can without touching your other part and delete it. Now you can right click and push delete or you can just press the delete key on your keyboard.
now we're left with just our wing. Now we're going we're gonna to scroll all the way around it. Make sure you get all the way around it. And you're going to group it again. That way when we go to grab it and move it, we don't just move one part, we move the whole thing. So here's the thing I want to show you. If you grab this, and you press duplicate, now we got two. And where are they? Grab this and move it out. Oh, look at that. Now we got two. We got two of the same. We don't want two of the same. We want one one side and one the other. We need it mirrored. So we go up here and press this button right here. Flip selected objects horizontally. Oh, look. There it is. Mirrored. Then we can put it up right up next to it. And then we'll group them all together. Now it's one big group. There's our wings. Now you can grab them and we'll put them in our box. Oh, wait a minute. It don't fit in our box. All right, so what I usually do is I'll drag this corner over here. I'll drop her in there. And go to File. Go to Document Properties. Move it over here to get it out of our way so we can see. Now, here's a bunch of different sizes. I don't usually mess with these. I just do the the custom size. So I'm going to turn that on inches. It's already on inches. So we click these boxes you know, the plus or the minus, you'll see the box change. See you getting over there? Now you can also Just scroll on these and just press 50. Oh, we need a lot more than 50. Let's go 80. Oh, we messed that up. Let's just 80. That's too much. Not very much, too much. Let's just go. We'll go with 64. Now, that's the box. We need to make this line come down. So we're going to let's start at 30. That's a little bit too big. Go to 28. There we go. 28. And we can just close this. Now our wing is inside of our box. Now we want to save it as a PDF file. So you're going to go up here to File, Save As. You're going to open the file where you want it. So we're going to go where I keep mine is this PC. E. Plans. We're going to make a new folder. We're going to name it FT540. One fifty. Okay. And we're going to name our file FT five forty one fifty wings. Wing tops. And then we're going to go here. We don't want an SVG file. We want a PDF file. So we're going to click PDF. And click the 540. Open the 540 file where we want it to go. And we press save.
this box pops up. I don't change anything at all. All I do is press OK. And it's saved. So we can close this. Now, you can save it with a, as an Inkscape package uh, or file. That way, if you want to open this back up exactly how you got it right now, you can. I, I don't do that. I just save it as a PDF file because I don't have anything else to do with this after I'm already done. If I do, I'll just import it and do it again. So I just close without saving. And then we're going to open our PDF viewer. We're going to click open PDF. We're going to go to our computer. We're going to go to E where we put it. We're going to go to plans. And we're going to go to our new file that we created, the FT540. And there's our PDF. We're going to double click that and it's going to bring it in. And there it is. There's our wings. Sized up. Now, to print these, I know we all don't have uh, blueprint printers. So we can, what we can do is we can print these to a tile format. So we click file, click print, you go up here, you, got, you, you choose your printer, your paper size that you're going to use. Uh, I just use that, I just leave that on auto select. Um, I'll click center sometimes, it'll center it up, it, sometimes it uses better, it'll use it. It'll use the tiles better sometimes. So then we'll go down here. We'll click this poster if it's not. So that'll be single. We're, we're going to click poster. And it's going to divide it into all these. It's going to take 24 pieces of 8.5 by 11 paper to print out both, both wing panels. So then we just push print. I'm not going to print this out, but that's how you do it. Uh, I've already printed out the uh, the FT Simple Cub. I blew it up 150%, and I'm gonna do. We'll, we'll do a build video on that. All right, guys, that's it. That's all you need to do. It's not hard. It was uh, it was so easy. In fact, I was I was surprised. I, I was I wish I'd have learned learned to do this a long time ago. I'd have been building giant planes this whole time. Alright guys, that's it. We learned how to download the plans. We downloaded Inkscape. We downloaded the PDF viewer. We imported the PDF that we downloaded from Flight Test to the Inkscape. We scaled it up to 150%. We learned how to group and ungroup objects, and uh, then we sent it over to our PDF viewer, edited it a little more, and uh, in order for us to print it to the tiles, and then we printed it out. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys come back. Uh, I'm having a good time doing the channel. Uh, just want to get some more subscribers and some more some more content up. I uh, hope you guys have a good day. Keep flying.